and I met this wonderful lady by the name of Janice. Now, at first, I told him to tell Janice that I was mad with her because the brothers and the sisters, y'all already said that y'all know about the madness. Mm -hmm. But Chris kind of had a problem that <laughs> night after she fixed him or brought him a specific meal. And when she came up, she would just laugh at me because she knew I was going to get the worst of it. But she became a very, very dear good friend. She was one of those that when you saw her, you forgot about Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just the way she she is, she was. And I found it an honor that Chris asked me to come and give some words of comfort. Um, I won't be long. I've been pastoring for 16 years. I've been preaching for 21. Uh, I know I don't look like I should be a pastor, but... Hey, we come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> yeah. So what I want to do, first of all, is go ahead and read you a passage of scripture. And it's going to help to bring you the closure as to what's going on right now. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved. We have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groaned, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so, being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For in this tabernacle we do groan, being burdened, not for what we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that had wrought us for the self same thing as God, who also had given unto us earnest of the Spirit. Here's the part I want y'all to concentrate on. Therefore, we're always confident knowing that whilst we're at home in the body, we're absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Walking by faith. Walking by faith. The scriptures clearly tell us that to be in this body was somewhat absent from the Lord. And although we attend worship services, although we pray, although we have a different commitment to God, we still still have that absence from the, the from God. Now, to be absent from the body in itself simply means that we are present with the Lord. Is everybody following me? I, I, want, I want this to be just as clear as possible because when death comes, that's when we begin to ask questions. We question God. We, we think that we've done something so horrible, but it's not so because the Bible tells us to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Now, the other part about that is we walk by faith and not by sight. We see things every day going on. We see hurricanes. We see this pandemic. We see fires. We see murders in Columbus. We see these things and we think, oh, we're living in a terrible world. No, we're not living in a terrible world. We just have some terrible people in it. But make no mistake about it. We serve a God that is always willing, always right there by our side to give us a hand in everything that goes on in life. Paul was one who was converted. And I don't know if everybody ever had heard the story of Paul's conversion, which is going to make some sense out of this also. Paul was once named Saul. And Saul was one who sought to keep all the Christians from he had, they paid taxes but he, he sought to lock them up he didn't want nobody praising God or whatever but God got tired of that and he put him in a position where he had to serve him and sometimes we get in certain aspects of life whereby things will happen that will turn us uh, get our attention so that we can serve God I'm not saying this is one but I'm do, I do, I do want to be able to let everybody know that this one 
incident shall happen again. Uh, if you have parents, if you have brothers and sisters, and I love the way the sisters and the brothers have come up to support their brother. I love the way the friends have uh, gathered around to support Chris. That's the time of love. That's the time to support, to lift up. Because we all must go this way at some point or another. Um, Janice, her spirit was enough to just make you smile. And if you made her mad, she would tell you what she thought and she would just be through with it. I just love the way I could always, when I saw her walk through the door, if I had 18 customers in front of me, I still could recognize, there's Janice. And I would always ask him, how is Janice? About a week ago when he called me and told me this, it broke my heart. It broke my heart in pieces. Why? I guess we can reflect on when Lazarus was dead and Jesus had to call him back from the grave. They say that that's the shortest, it is the shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus wept. And most people don't realize why Jesus wept. Some say because he was in human form. Some say it was because he had to call Lazarus back into this world. I say that to finish the whole thing. At no point do you want to be able to bid farewell to James, but acknowledge that she is absent from the Bible and present with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, although our hearts are broken, Although we may miss seeing her or being around her, one thing remains true. Everybody under this shed probably has a fond memory that when you get by yourself, you'll just break out laughing. And people will wonder, what's wrong with that food? But my memory will be me telling her, that her husband, nah, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it like that. You can say it. I told her after she brought some Taco Bell <laughs> that your husband has been up here blowing kisses at me. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't seem shocked, she just burst into laughter. And for y'all who know, you know what his kisses are. <laughs> Chris, I love you. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. You got a brother in Lumpkin, but you got one on St. Mary's Road. Whatever you need, just call me, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank y'all for listening. That's very kind. Uh, I hope that that lifted up your spirits. And if you got nothing else out of anything I said, remember this. Walk by faith, your faith. Walk by faith and not by sight. It's not what it looks like. It's victorious because the devil did not win anything. Amen? Amen. Amen. He said roll tide. Roll, roll tide. Go dog. I'm a bulldog. <laughs> yeah, go dog. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> no.